or a Lexus. So let me tell you a little bit about this vehicle if you aren't already familiar with it. It was a limited production vehicle, and yes, unfortunately I'm saying it was because it no longer is. We just finished making the last vehicle about a month and a half ago, so no more LFAs for us. Out of those 500, we made 450 of the standard model. Out of those 500 and out of those 450 that went to the standard model, we made 50 of the Nürburgring edition. That's the particular vehicle that you're looking at today. Now, it's very exciting because this is only one of 22 in the US, one of 50 in the entire world. So you probably won't see it again, so definitely take as much pictures as you'd like, and let me know if you guys want me to open up the hood, and I'll show you guys the engine as well. Now, to tell you a little bit about the engine, this vehicle is a 4.8 liter V10. Okay, so it was made by one engineer, and that gentleman actually signs it at the end for that special owner out there who wants to purchase this vehicle. You know, why don't I just go ahead and show you the engine? Would you like that? Yeah. All right. All right, so you can take a better look at it and I can explain a little bit better so you guys can actually see what I'm talking about. So as I mentioned, it's a 4.8 liter V10 engine and although it's a V10 engine, the engine is actually smaller than a V8 and it's lighter than a V6. This is really cutting edge technology here. As you can see, it's a front mid mounted engine. Now that is for the right weight displacement that we have on our vehicle. Again, I mentioned it's only one technician that works on it. So the standard model, will deliver 552 horsepower. This is the Nürburgring edition, so this one is 562 horsepower. It goes zero to 60 in 3.6 seconds. And the top speed on this is 202 governed. Now to tell you a little bit more about this car, as you can see probably on the interior of that hood, you can see there's a lot of carbon fiber there. That's because this vehicle is comprised of 65% carbon fiber so it's incredibly light in fact this actual vehicle only weighs 3263 pounds incredibly light now how that weight is displaced is 48 percent in the front and 52 percent in, in the back and that is to give the perfect center of gravity at the waistline of the driver for the best control and reaction time when driving this vehicle now as we move back into the vehicle, you'll also see that we have 20 inch wheels on this vehicle. And a lot of people talk about those brake pads. Those are Brembo carbon ceramic brakes. Everyone usually likes that a lot. Now as I open the door, you'll get to see a little bit more of the interior. This vehicle has seven custom zones. Let me take out my iPad so you can really take a good look at this. You can see the beautiful pedals, definitely very futuristic and stylish. So the interior, as I mentioned, have seven different custom zones that is built so this vehicle fits the owner like a glove now also we put in here right there in the center you may be able to see you may not the number of each vehicle this particular vehicle is number 410 out of those 500 vehicles now um, you may also see on the tachometer that is digital that's because a standard tachometer could not keep up with this particular vehicle. Now, a lot of people ask us about the curves and the design of the vehicle. Everything has a purpose and it's for functionality. So a lot of people wonder about these vents right here. That's actually to pull the radiators in the back. This is a rear wheel uh, driven vehicle. Uh, also, I want to mention to you that on the standard model, you would not see the exposed carbon fiber that you see on the top of the vehicle as well as on the spoiler that is different from the standard model. Also, this spoiler is stationary on the Nürburgring edition, where on the standard model, it automatically comes up at 50 miles per hour and beyond to deliver 800 pounds of downward force to keep this vehicle on the ground again because it is so incredibly light. And it also has a manual button that you'll usually find right about here and you can actually pop it up on the standard model. If you have it parked, you just wanna make it look really cool. Now, as we move back here, a lot of you have been asking us about, um, if you're familiar with the vehicle, about starting up the engine. And you've probably heard the demonstration right over here where people are constantly revving the engine. And that is because, again, if you're familiar with the LFA, 
you would know that Yamaha worked directly with Lexus to make this vehicle sound just like a Formula One race car. So a lot of people ask us to start it up, which we don't do it out here at the auto show. But to be able to still know what it sounds like, you're able to manipulate it right there, rev up the RPMs on that. It red lines at 9,000 in real life, but it gives you a good idea of what it sounds like. Now, a lot of people want to know how much this vehicle costs. Well, again, these vehicles are hand-built, custom-made vehicles. So out of those 500 limited edition vehicles, you need to know that they cost more than what we charge for this vehicle. So the standard model starts at $375,000. Now I mentioned to you guys that this is our Nürburgring edition. So this vehicle is a little bit more expensive. Again, I'm gonna tell you one of 22 in the US, one of 50 in the entire world. We probably won't ever see it again because I don't know why the people who purchase these vehicles, they lock them up inside that garage and they should let them out for all of us to enjoy. This Nürburgring edition starts at $445,000 and well worth every penny. Now, I will tell you this, if you guys are looking to purchase uh, one of the LFAs, I can tell you that pretty much all of them are sold. There may be a few somewhere here in the United States that might be available. I will tell you that this particular model is available. So on the standard vehicles, you can pick one of 30 different colors. You can get bubblegum pink, you can get bright purple if you wanted to. But on the Nürburgring edition, there are only four colors. So we have orange, we have a glossy black, we have a matte black, and our beautiful whitest white, which is actually my favorite. This vehicle is for sale. We do have some salesmen who would be more than happy to make the commission on selling you this vehicle. So if you are curious about it, please let us know. We'd be happy to give you more information or have a salesman talk to you. Uh, I'm sure it'll probably be out here until the end of the show. And maybe it could be yours. We'd love to see you drive off with one. If you have any other questions about this vehicle or any one of the other vehicles, that's what we're here for. Please don't hesitate to ask us. We'd love to provide you with more information. Also, if you want to know more about our technology that we have in each one of our newer 2013 vehicles, we got our informed absolute demonstrations going on over there in the corner. Thank you so much for joining us here. And if you're in the market to purchase or lease a new Lexus, we've got a $500 gift certificate that we'd love to give to you towards the purchase or lease of a new Lexus here at one of the local dealerships. So just ask me about it or any one of the product specialists. We'll get that out to you right away. Thanks so much for joining us and enjoying our beautiful Lexus LFA Nerdberg Ring Edition. Have a great time with the auto show and have a